So this is the hostel. Bathroom. It's clean. And this is my room. It smells so good in here. It's weird. It just smells like fresh. This is the room. It is so cute. So you see two bunk beds. Two bunk beds. And now one single bed. <laughs> Guess who bed it is? My baby. <laughs> I don't know how I got a job, but I'm happy. Oh, I'm so happy. This is locker. It is big enough for my backpack. A shelf, perfect, a reading light, an outlet. Oh my God, this is heaven. And here's the view. Quick update, you guys. So it is like seven o'clock. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything tonight. I actually have all day tomorrow, all day the next day, and then half of the third day backpacking is so exhausting because of like the time changes all the traveling all the on the go everything like that so i really try to have a rest day in between each country or each city but tomorrow it is game time okay but until then i'm just about to get settled in so talk to y'all later good morning you guys so it is 3.40 and I just left my hostel. I'm back at the place that I was last night and I got some um, fries and some wine. And after I leave here, I have two things planned for today. The first thing is I want to go to the um, city wall and then I want to go to this place called Booza Bar. It's a bar that's on like a cliff. So I'm really excited for that. Those are the only two things that I'm doing today because tomorrow I'm doing a whole bunch of other really, really cool stuff. All right, you guys. So I just left the restaurant and now I'm on my way to Old Town so I can go walk the city walls of Dubrovnik. I see the sign finally. I've been walking for like 20 minutes. Old Town. walls close at 6 30 they let the last person in at six o'clock they're gonna start discouraging you to go in at like 5 45 and they're gonna say oh you can't walk the walls in that amount of time blah 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 bullshit they just don't want you to go in right so mind the business that pays you and print me my ticket so anyway it's doable and they will not kick you out and sunset is the best time to go so once you when you visit Dubrovnik make sure that you start the city wall walk at like 5 45 ish so that way you can actually see the sunset as you're going around more than enough time don't let them stop you if they try to stop you tell them and that you want your ticket okay This is a bar. No credit cards, except they just cash, and then they serve you in plastic cups. But I'm here for the experience, though, and the view. All right, you guys. So I didn't drink my. Oh, I still got a sip left. What? 
No. I'm about to head back to my hostel. The hostel is like a 45 minute walk. And it's dark as hell. You can't even see. So for the first time since I've been in Europe, I'm gonna try to catch a taxi. So once I get into my taxi, I'll let y'all know. Finally in the taxi. As you can see, I am back into my hostel and my comfortable bed. I am about to take a shower, <clears throat> put on my pajamas, and lay on my bed, edit videos, and then go to sleep. Good night, you guys. I will see you all in the morning. Peace. Hey, guys. So, I just left my hostel and did my 45-minute walk to Old Town because I'm about to go to... Um, the port so that way i can take a ferry over to this island called locrum island and go check it out this is where i was last night as y'all can see it is way busier than what it was last night there's too many people and it's too hot so i missed the two o'clock ferry so gotta catch the one at 2 30. anyways i was walking minding my business and then i came across this place chicken wings <laughs> Oh, I got my food. Look at these wings. They look like home wings. I'm so excited to eat. That food was so good. Oh my god. I literally had a taste of home. Anyway. So, um, I missed the 2.30 ferry. <laughs> I missed the 2.30 ferry and then I had to go to the ATM to go get me some Kuna, which is their local currency. I have to pay in cash in order to get on the ferry. So, that took like 20 minutes trying to find one. So now I'm back at the ferry port and I'm not gonna miss this one because it is 2.45 and the next one comes at three o'clock. So I almost missed this one, it is 2.55. Wanna know why? Super long story short, went to the ATM, paid my $10 in ATM fees, five from my bank, five from this bank. Didn't take out enough money, so I had to come all the way back to the ATM, make another withdrawal and then pay $10 more in fees. It's like $5 to get to the island, but like 10 to get back. And I just thought it was five there, five back. So it is my fault, but I'm just irritated because now I've just paid $20 in fees when I could have paid 10. And that extra $10 could have been used towards something else. But you know what? I'm gonna just charge it to the game. <sighs> Let me get my ass on this boat. Welcome to Locrum Island. Alright, let's go explore. So I came across this. This is a nice place to take pictures. Dang, I wish I had somebody with me. I'll stay right here. I <laughs> tumble my ass down to the ground. Not today. Warning. When swimming in the Dead Sea natural pool, you may come across snake locks. And if your skin comes in contact with this venom, you may feel a stinging sensation. Who oh. oh, even wants to change that? That is beautiful. Look, one of them lost its feathers. Did Ellie drop her? I'm about to make my way back to the boats. 
so that way I can get on this 430 ferry. I can't miss that one. So yeah, see y'all soon once I make it back. Alrighty, safely made it back to land. Now I'm about to go on my 45 minute walk back to my hostel so I can get ready for the sunset Airbnb tour of Sunset but first, ice cream. Never tried melon. And this is ice cream. It's not gelato. Well, that's what it said on the thing. It said ice cream. Never tried melon ice cream. It literally tastes like I'm biting into a melon. Look how big this is. This is one scoop. Y'all need to bring these kind of scoops to America. Y'all, so I'm minding my business walking to eat my ice cream and look who I came across. Hi. Hi. Cousins. Yes. <laughs> I walked up to them. I was I was listening to that conversation. I'm like, okay, okay, they're American. I hear them speaking English. I'm like, where y'all from? <laughs> We're from Chicago. Chicago, yeah. 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 I'm Darlene. I'm Sarah. I'm Melinda. Hey y'all. So yeah, they're on a cruise right now, going all the way to yes. Greece. <laughs> so yeah, I just I just had to show y'all because y'all know how lonely it's been with me just by myself. But look at my cousins, y'all. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. So, as soon as I walked up to my hostel, the Airbnb guide came. So, it was like, as soon as I got there, boom, he was there, ready to pick me up. So, I'm in a tuk tuk. Looks like this. It's like a little car, but no doors or windows. <laughs> And I am on a sunset tour. So what we're gonna do is drive to the top of Dubrovnik, watch the sunset, and have a glass of wine. Another way to get to the top of Dubrovnik is to ride the cable car. But I was like, eh, I really didn't wanna do that, so I went ahead and I booked this Airbnb tour because it actually takes you further than the cable car. So right now, we're just on the way to pick up one couple, so it's just me and one other couple, and then we're going to start the tour. So yeah, I'll just show you all what it's looking like as we drive around. Y'all see the city walls? The ones we walked yesterday. All right, we going back down. Look, oh my God. Whew. Look at those colors. And this is the mountain. That was one way of going down. under the bus I am at the bus station right now I hope you all enjoyed Dubrovnik just as much as me it was really nice but I am definitely ready to go to my next destination so yeah Dubrovnik was awesome all right bye guys see you later